All right. Dilemma. Dear Bill, would you rather be a simple nerd living on a small budget, enjoying his life of board games, Lord of the Ring and Rings and nerd books, uh, in a one bedroom apartment in a small town and a simple job at the grocery store with no excitement, but complete comfort and peace. I mean, that sounds amazing. Simple dinners on a TV tray and the occasional dessert from the bakery. You're not in shape, but you're not obese. You're unknown to the public. You have a cousin with a family you see on holidays, but that's it. I have no family? Oh, yeah, fuck that. Or be famous, single, a celebrity, and models, except there's a long-standing rumor going around that you beat your ex-girlfriend's dog, but the cops let you off because you're famous. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, I can handle that. I, I, never, I never hit that dog. I love dogs. You can easily do that. You just show yourself out with all your rescue dogs. <laughs> anyway, now you certainly didn't, but that's the rumor. Okay, so I certainly didn't beat the dog. Uh, it's supported by lots of evidence, and you are commonly known as the guy who kicked the dog. The woman you fuck don't seem to mind the rumor, and you put off that they will fuck you anyway, despite that this, that they don't know it's not true. People look at you funny in public. Is it because they believe the rumor or that they know you're famous and like your work? Your life is a house of cards. Which do you choose? Well, you know what? You should have had me have a family in the first one. The fact that I don't have a family, I'm not going to be that fucking pudgy uncle who never got his shit together. You know, some fuck wad of a job bagging groceries. Oh, but he's happy. No, I'm out there. I'm going to fucking, yeah, I'll be the bad boy that maybe kicked the dog who fucks models. I would choose that. I would choose that emptiness over the previous emptiness. Even though you said I was happy and at peace. I guess I got to put that in there. With no excitement, but complete comfort and peace. But I'm at peace? If I, you could somehow rewire me in that first one, that I could be in complete comfort and peace, I would absolutely accept that one. Without a fucking doubt. Um, as opposed to the other one, where there was no peace. And fucking models and all of that. T- I would think that that would get sad quickly. If you were raised right, you know, if you're in your twenties, I would think ah, it's great. Thirties, you're kind of like, eh, what am I doing? Forties, it's like, Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Why are they here? Cause the older, the, the bigger the age gap gets, the more concerned you have to be with like, how fucked up is this person? that not only they banged me, they they now want to have a relationship with me. Like, you got to be thinking that you're getting damaged goods, you know, wrapped up in a beautiful package. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I I would take, uh, yeah, I think I would take the first one. As long as I was at peace. I'm at peace with the fact that I'm a fucking nerd. I don't get to watch sports. Or is this me? And I just have to play the role of some guy that wants to play board games. Um, I can, I'll put myself in both of those, me in both of those situations. I would go out of my fucking mind if I was in the first one. If I was living alone, the amount I already talked to myself, if I had nobody else, and I just had these fucking board games and an occasional dessert. And then I have to swing by a family members. Uh, yeah, fuck that. I would, uh, I would be slowly drinking myself to death. Probably rapidly at that point. And, at that, and I also got the regular job, so I'm not even drinking good booze. So I imagine I would be mixing the booze, you know, with some cola, right? So that's the double whammy. Um, yeah. I think I, I would choose, yeah, I would choose the, uh, the cliched, cliched Hollywood fucking experience you know (laughs) showing up with fucking cocaine boogers in my nose 
Oh God, dude, that's a that's a bad dilemma. Neither one of those were happy. I don't like that. You guys, you, there, there was there was no fucking. I guess what's uh, that's why they call it a dilemma. Everybody, um, I got a dilemma. It's ten of five, and the sun's already almost gone down, and I still got to go out and fucking do my little uh, my little hikey hike here, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. Beefcake, beefcake. It's gonna happen. It's going to happen. I found this new park. I'm not going into it now because it closes at sunset, allegedly. And um, that's when the fun begins, honey. Um, I'm going to go, uh, I don't know, take a walk around the neighborhood. That's what I'm going to do. By the way, I went into a fucking record store today. I could not believe the amount of young people. The place was fucking packed. And the amount of young people that were in there was insane. And I was going through... You know, and I was trying to buy these classic albums for my daughter. And, uh, you know, of course, they had ACDC, Back in Black, but a few others like Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. They didn't have that one. Aerosmith's Greatest Hits, they didn't have that one. Uh, But then I had to think like, well, wait a minute, you know, 40 some odd years of music have gone by. At least with those, uh, the ACDC and the Aerosmith since these albums came out. So, I mean, there is a finite amount of fucking room um, in there. But, like, I was, I don't know, I was kind of bummed. And I was like, all right, well, maybe I can at least get a, the Toys in the Attic album because the song she likes is Walk This Way, which she, of course, is convinced that the lyrics are four kids play. And I've tried to correct her, and I just decided I'd let her figure it out for herself. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, that song, you can have a lot of different interpretations and uh, her interpretations of Four Kids Play. Four Kids Play. Four Kids Play. You know what? And when she's brilliant enough to say that Christmas is better than Target, um, who am I to argue? All right. Well, that's the podcast, everybody. Old Twinkle Toes has got to work off all the fucking stuffing that he stuffed himself with. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Once again, congratulations to the University of Michigan football team. We bow to no one. Congratulations on your big win. Ohio State, unbelievable run. You knew you weren't going to win forever, but fucking, you know, let's see. Can Michigan win nine in a row? Who knows? We shall see. Uh, But it's very critical right now because if Michigan beats you again next year, okay, and your coach who built the thing is now down in Jacksonville hanging out at a Hooters, um, Urban Meyer, like all of a sudden these young kids might want to start instead of going to Ohio State, if they're going to go Big Ten, they go Michigan. And then what happens? A whole lot of whining from the other side is what I'm thinking. So, um, and Bill Belichick once again, once again, all these fucking idiots when Tom Brady and the Buccaneers won it last year were going like, does that mean Tom was the reason they won and Bill Belichick and all the blue? He's doing it again. All right? He's on his way again to building an yet another championship team, and he's not going to stop until the New England Patriots win number seven. And I, I have every belief in the world that it's going to happen. There you go. You heard it here first on the fucking Monday Morning Podcast. All right, that's the Monday Morning Podcast Go fuck yourselves. I'll check in on you on Thursday. And uh, thank you to everyone who came out to Supernova this weekend. All right, I'll see you.